I'm here to talk to you about why I quit music. Huh? What? It's against my beliefs, against my religion, so I kind of have to stop it for the sake of God. It just hit me, bro. Like, randomly, one day I was just like, you know what, I don't feel right about doing this. Obviously, getting closer with the religion, praying now. Uh, music kind of, like, decreases your iman. I'm going to make mistakes, bro. Like, well, I'm going to, everyone makes mistakes. No, Vibrant's got, like, 21 million streams. It's a good song. That's, that's a lot of it's sins. A, it's a, it's <laughs> Stop a listening to it, please. Douche. <laughs> I'm collecting money for boreholes in the Gambia. I got one done myself. These are 100% donation. There is a routine to maintain them and they are the safest way to provide water. I know the brother doing this. Donate using the link below. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The YouTuber, musician Chunks has left music for the sake of Allah and his religion. Mashallah, brother. His influence on YouTube is quite clear because ever since yesterday I've been getting spammed on my socials to do a reaction video to this. The people have spoken. Seeing this makes me more happier than Floyd Mayweather getting Jake Paul in a headlock because he stole his hat. One night, got your hat. It brings me more joy than finally hearing these words from the bumbling buffoon Boris Johnson. Well, let's you need to get a haircut. It makes me more happier than seeing a Palestinian kid smack an Israeli soldier square in the eye with a bottle. <laughs> okay, maybe not the last one, yeah, but you guys get the point. Music, obviously we're, we're Muslim, bro. Mm -hmm. So um, music's haram. I love the fact that Chunks did not pussy for around this topic. No, I mean, because obviously it's haram, it's, it's forbidden for people. It's against my beliefs, against my religion, so I kind of have to stop it for the sake of... God. He talked about how uncomfortable releasing music whilst knowing that it displeased Allah was for him. It just hit me bro, like randomly. One day I was just like, you know what, I don't feel right about doing this. Obviously getting closer with the religion, praying now um, for the last good, two years, good. alhamdulillah. And how difficult it was for him to walk away from the money. Another one being, uh, obviously I've been offered crazy amounts of money by labels. Yeah, but I know. The seven figure deal. And the big names that he was getting. I spoke about me and KSI doing a song. And he's like to me, yo bro, let's do a song. Yeah. Go crazy. I remember when he texted me, I was kind of like, ah! I told him the reason, bro. I yeah. told him, yeah, obviously I'm just trying to, um, just trying to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Better, a better course, Muslim. So he was kind of like, fair play, bro. Drake does follow you? Yeah, he does follow yeah, me. Yeah. You know, it's Drake, don't, don't ask me for a song, please, bro. Because that's going to be very hard for me. Of course, we learn from the sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he or she who gives something up for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Allah will replace it with something better. Like, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. None of that matters, yeah. The great one, the great one. It's all for the great one. None of that matters. Uh, I'm trying to go Jannah. Of course, at that moment in time, we may not understand it, yeah, because we look at the temporary benefit that thing brings. But if we take an analogy from a baby, yeah, who the parents stop the milk and the baby starts crying, I want the milk, I want the milk. But the baby doesn't understand that a wondrous world of cuisines await his senses and he needs to stop the milk in order to enjoy it real food. So it's the same with us. We see all these haram activities and we see the quick benefit and we're like, yo. Yeah, I want this. If I don't get this, ya Allah, why haven't you given this? Oh no. I'm gonna leave the religion, mate. I'm not gonna pray anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna pray anymore. I'm not gonna pray anymore. I'm not gonna pray anymore. But we don't realize that once we get those things, there's no blessing or baraka in it. That's haram peace. <laughs> That's on my life. The car I buy with that money will just crash straight on the M-way, bro. So I said, nah. That money drains quicker than a bucket with loads of holes in it. That bucket is not holding water. It does not fulfill its purpose. But you see how glorious the bucket is. And you see how amazing it is. And you're like, I want that bucket. But it's got like 20 holes in it. The other one, it's a small bucket. Yeah, a bit rusty. However, there's no holes in it. It actually contains the water. Yeah, so that will always be the believer. Yeah, because we know the Prophet wasallam said this world is a prison for the believer and a Jannah for the disbeliever. So naturally you can't compare the two. But in terms of what's in our heart, in terms of the contentment we receive and the lack of guilt, it is definitely worth getting into the halal business, mate. Yeah, I felt so bad. I remember when the day it dropped, I was in my bed near tears, bro, uh, because of how close it was to Ramadan. Mm. And it was just that 
I felt bad. I was kind of like, yeah, um, may Allah forgive me kind of vibe. I just and for those of you still wondering, yeah. well, as a believer, we know that this world is a test and temporary and the hereafter is the everlasting world. So anything that jeopardizes our hereafter needs to be scrapped. And Chunks articulated this really well. Dean over dunya. Dean over dunya. I'm going to start off with that. Of course, those of you that have been following my content know he is not the only one to have articulated things like this. When I'm 30, 35, I'm going to cut off my dreads, I'm going to grow my beard, and I'm going to go live somewhere in Saudi or something like that, raise my children in an Islamic country. Obviously, the music thing for me, I love music, you know, but at the same time, mm. I'm a Muslim, bro, so this is, I know this is, this ain't something I can keep doing forever, bro. This is haram. And when I heard this story, I had to say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah who is giving us such public examples to help us reform and go back to his mercy. Because guys, this is truly a mercy from Allah. He knows the influence that celebs have on us. So having an example like this during Ramadan, subhanAllah. Another point that I wanted to highlight guys was haram is haram. Yeah. Now if somebody is doing haram, fair enough. That person can say, Yo, you know what, I'm weak, and inshallah, I'm trying to change, etc, etc. However, once you start justifying it under the guise of difference of opinion, no, 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 that's, that, that's a problem. Because now you're shutting the doors to future benefit. If you've admitted it, then automatically it will still be running in your mind, whether it's a couple of years, a few years or longer, eventually it will get to you and you'll be like, you know what, I need to give it up. But if you've justified that that thing is halal to begin with, there's not going to be any progress. Alhamdulillah, thank God I, feel, I felt bad because yeah, of course, it shows that I still something. have that iman, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I feel like, you know, when people do a mad thing and it's just kind of like, Yes, no, it. of course, of course. That's, the way, that's yeah. worrying. And for the others that are watching that have given something up for the sake of Allah, be it girlfriends, be it drugs, be it also music, listen to music or whatever it may be. MashaAllah, may Allah give you strength. And of course, guys, it's not going to be easy. There will be ups, there will be downs. That's life. That's why I have strong people around you. Yeah, be subscribed to channels that will give you positivity, friends that will not bring you down, friends that will motivate you. Yeah, Surround yourself with positivity and like-minded people that will assist you on your journey. Because if you're hanging around those people that believe they're contrary to what you're trying to do, it's not going to help your case. It's like a person who wants to stay smelling good whilst hanging out in the sewage systems, as you do. <laughs> and it's also worth considering that, look, if you're talented, and you've given something up for the sake of Allah, try to use that energy to do something positive. Like Chunks, he's got a good voice. He's inshallah going to try and go into nasheeds, yeah, and utilize his talent for something positive. Yeah, yeah, done with music. Gonna become a nasheed artist. Next rhythm called I Love Allah, coming out soon. <laughs> Give my love to my respect and my honor to who should I pay good mind to after Allah and Rasulullah comes your mother. And realize you will make mistakes. Yeah, like I said, you will falter. Make sure you have positive people around you and chunks as well. He will falter as well. And let's not kick him when he's down. I'm going to make mistakes, bro. Like, well, I'm going to, everyone makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody has those days. Like you do with a friend when you see them on the floor, you don't start poking them and prodding them. You put your hand down and you help them up. That's right. You help them up. They fall a couple of times. You help them up. You give them words of positivity. Yes, you need to explain to them, look, there was a branch there. Yeah. Or you keep looking back when you're walking. That's why you keep falling over, but you do help them up. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Always a pleasure. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum. The Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix. Encouraging Quran reading. Modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today.